welcome back. So today, we are trying to do is we are going to learn another fundamental concept besides um, we learned um, conditional statements. Again, we are going to learn loop today, and in next video we're going to learn array. All right, so that's just like the big plan, and. Before we talk about what is array, let's just focus on simple stuff. And here's what I want to do. Print out hello, uh, sorry. Uh, this one. So print out hello world at JavaScript console for three times. So would I do that? Well, obviously I just say console.log hello world. You should not even think about it. Or you can use command C. Command V or Control C, Control V for copy and paste, and save it. And let me open my terminal. Uh, and I'm gonna say open hello zero HTML. And if I click inspect element, and go to the console. And indeed, it showed three times, hello world. All right. That is really cool, right? Um, but well, there's actually something wrong with this code. Not syntactically, but stylically. So this code is gonna be inefficient because I spend I type the same thing for three times. And in computer science, especially computer programming, we in each in uh in any given language, if you copy and paste stuff, copy or paste your code, it's often not efficient. So that's where the loops come loop that function comes in. So this inefficiently Print out hello world at console for three times. So we're going to use a for loop to print out hello world for three times in console. So I'm just gonna say var count equal to zero. Um, gonna say count smaller than three, count plus plus, and I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna say console the lock hello world. So what am I just done here? Well, I create a for loop. I create a for loop. All right, let's take a look at the syntax of the for loop. So a for loop, you need to create a variable in some sort where you can use the let to create a variable and limitation of the variable. So like this, the uh, this code will. The following code will only be executed only if this condition is true. So only execute only executed if this is true. And incrementation or decrementation. So for plus plus, it just simply means uh, count variable plus equal to one. Which is mean, which is means increment variable by one. All right, and this is only gonna work on numbers. And you're gonna say, why put count count smaller than three? You want to print out three times. Well, because I start at zero. So if you count zero, is zero smaller than three? Yes, it is. So you count plus plus, which is change to one. I cancel the log hello world for one time, and then so now count is one. One still smaller than three. So count plus plus to two, and print out cancel the log hello world another time, which is two times now. And for final time, bar count equal to two. Is two smaller than three? Yes. So and. 2 plus 1 is 3, and print out in console.log for 3 times. And 
However, if I say count equal to 3 now, 3 is not smaller than 3, so this line of code will not get executed. Therefore, it's only going to print out 3 times. Alright, so let's just save it and run it. So open hello one. This is just a fancy way to open your file via terminal. Uh, you can see the actual file here. Console. And indeed, you see hello world for three times. Now, uh, there's something that is interesting. Uh, because now you can see the difference between them is it actually pronounced three individually, but they it stacked them together. Just like if you're a Minecraft player, you know the boat is not stackable in Minecraft, but not like your food. Food is stackable, just like a loop. Well, the value of the, if you just print out them regularly, well, they're not gonna store together. And we'll learn why in future videos. All right. Cool. So that's hello1.html. Well, by the way, you can find all the files um, in my GitHub website. And finally, we're going to, uh, not finally yet. So here's my assignment I want to do. I want to print out hello world using for loop for three times, but also print goodbye world between each hello world. Between hello world. So we're going to use a nested for loop. Let's just say for uh, let, I'm gonna use let count equal to zero, count smaller than three, count plus plus, and console.log, hello world, and I'm gonna create another for loop, uh, another count smaller than three. Um, smaller than one, another count, plus plus, and I'm gonna say console log, uh, goodbye world. So I'm just done. Well, so first for loop is understand, is uh, you will understand this. So I'm just gonna go through this again. So you select to create a variable. Sorry. So you select to create a variable called count equal to zero. Then if this, so I'm gonna print out three times essentially, or run these codes for three times. All right, let's take a look inside of this. So it's just gonna print hello world on line 12, which is just what we did on the one, which is line 18. But this is interesting now, because I got another for loop, and it's only gonna execute one time. And gonna say goodbye world. And what will happen if I click if I run it? Let me save it. Uh, and let's just open hello to the HTML. And inspect element. And indeed. Guess what I said? I see hello world, goodbye world, hello world, goodbye world, hello world, and goodbye world by using nested loop. Now you can see they are not stacked it together because it's not purely just a for loop, it's a nested for loop. Alright, so that is nested for loop. And let's create another file. So here's what I want to do. So let's do a text file. So here's my to do for this. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a while loop. So using while loop to create to print hello world at console for three times. So we are going to introduce you to sec second version of a JavaScript loop. Alright, so let's take a look. 
Let me do doc type first. HTML, HTML. Save it. Save as. Desktop. Dev is me. Files. JS. We do eight. We're gonna say hello three HTML. So here's what I want to put inside of this. Let's create a body. And let's say this. So I'm going to create a variable outside. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to create a variable outside of the actual loop. I'm just going to say var x equals to 0. So basically, I just assign a value 0 to the x. And next, I'm going to say while. Is there an error there? All right. So while x smaller than 6, uh, just say smaller than 3, I'm going to do following. I'm going to do x plus plus and console.log hello world. So what's happening? Well, the while loop is a kind of loop that has a comparison. I repeat until the comparison is no longer the choose. So syntax variable and while variable comparison and code and codes go to here. So if variable comparison comparison equal to true run else quit. That's just a basic syntax for the general um a while loop and so you can see I create a variable and if this variable is less than 3 I'm gonna x plus plus it which is the increment x variable by 1 and I'm gonna console the log it hello world so let me save it and open hello 3.html and uh, let me inspect element And indeed, I see Hello World print out for three times. So now, finally, we'll learn one more kind of loop. Um, file. And here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say this is what I want to do. I want to create using do while loop to print hello world in console for three times doc type gml gml slash gml save as hello for dot html desktop that is me, file, JavaScript, do it, save it. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Let's just create an empty hat tag. I'm going to create a body tag, a script tag, and set up it, just the layout. And I'm going to say this. All right. And I'm going to say this. So, var x equal to 0. I'm going to say do console.log hello world and I'm going to say while x is smaller than 3. All right. 
quote no error. So what is happening right now? Let's create a syntax page. So I create a variable first. Now I use a do statement. Do. Now I did. Oh, I forgot increment this. Oh, it's gonna run forever. So do x plus plus. So do codes goes here, codes here, and while variable comparison. So, and this loop will. So the while is actually have the same concept. So while variable comparison is true, then execute do else quit. All right. So let's take a look. Um, what's this file gonna give? us out because I create a variable and I increment in it it's just like a while loop but more fancier version so let's say open hello for the HTML and I'm gonna inspect my elements and here's my console um, three times, hello world. Great. But there are actually interesting catch there. All right. I'm going to print. I'm going to change to here. What do you think will happen? Well, take a minute and guess what will happen. Now, if I save it. And if I refresh it, ooh, surprise. I still see hello world once for some reason. But why? Because here's the reason. Because now I can see the JavaScript also always uh, executes from top to the bottom, left to the right. And I they say uh, the JavaScript interpreter say I say do first, and she say while later. It say while later, so it always gonna execute do part at least once, and even if the condition is not true. All right. So. Um, that is do while loop. And that is all the loop we're going to learn for today. And let's start moving on. Actually, uh, actually let me um, do a, a quick resources guide for you. Let me do a quick resources guide for you guys. So I recently find this really helpful it's called edabit.com slash challenges slash javascript so i'm just gonna do a simple loop problem um I just want to do a simple loop problem, and I I'm gonna hide everything and complete. We didn't learn string yet. Uh, get easy. Okay, so let's take a look on this challenge. 
So create a function that returns the index of the vowel in a string. Alright, so recall vowel is A E I O U. And I think I'm gonna spoil a little bit. So index of this is A, which is zero, so index of E is one. Strawberry A is three. Okay, start with zero. A pineapple I is one. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do string. Um, I'm gonna loop over all the word. I should loop over all the character. Check. If the character match A E I O U or A E I O U, return index number, else um, did I say else? No, else I'm just going to return false. By default. So let's loop over all the character. I'm gonna use a for loop. So let's I equal to zero. I smaller than um stir dot length. I plus plus. I'm gonna explain all the syntax later. And I'm gonna say um and I'm gonna say I uh, think I must use array a little bit. Okay, um, so since I must use array, I'm just gonna talk about this tomorrow. And uh, uh, last time, uh, next video, how to use it, but there's do have lots of great resources here. I just wanna show you this. So thank you for watching this video.